guess what? Yeah, that that's actually it. That's all you have to do is guess, and you will rank up in Rocket League. Confused? Well, allow me to explain. In my opinion, Rocket League is the closest video game to simulating actual athletic competition in real life. There's a lot of mechanics, there's a lot of thinking, there's a lot of moving, it's quick, it's fast-paced, your car moves exactly how you want it to, if you're good enough. So I set out to find if there was any correlation between real-life, high-speed, superior athletic performance and not real-life, semi-athletic, but definitely high-speed Rocket League. And I actually found a big one. A big one that spans across every single sport, including Rocket League. It's a word called anticipation. Anticipation, simply put, is your ability to predict a future event before it happens. And this is critical. I mean, if you are the perfect anticipator, you will be unstoppable in Rocket League. If your mechanics are even remotely close to maybe a champ or champ two, and you had perfect anticipatory decision-making skills, you would be so good at reading the enemy team that they could never get the ball past you and you would save every single ball. But you suck in anticipation. Humans do. We all do. There's too much uncertainty and that's okay. So I'm here to remind you how important this is. And when looking on YouTube, I couldn't really find anything about this anticipation thing. And I actually just found a lot of things that related to mechanics. And mechanics are great and important and probably the most important thing to train for the masses. But if you're like me and want to squeeze every ounce of potential talent from the banks of your conscious and subconscious mind, aka try hard, then you'll appreciate this video. So I'm going to test you guys on your anticipation skills and see just how good you think you are. You might be great, you might not be, you might get all these questions right, good for you. If you don't, bad for you, this is why you're here. And test number one begins now, what word am I going to say next? Subscribe. But seriously, do it. Alright, let's begin. Welcome to Bronze. We're going to go through every Rocket League rank. We're going to look at specific plays that happen in each rank. We're going to take a few tests and then we'll summarize at the end of each rank. All right, so you're here on defense. The ball is above you. You're in your corner, not the best spot to be. You see one blue guy in your peripheral and we move the ball forward. Your teammate bumps you and we're going to pause it right here. Take in all the info you can. Rewind the video, pause the video, think about it. All right, now it's time to guess. Is the ball here, 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 or not in frame at all? The correct answer was B. Our bronze buddy here pretty much just drove straight towards the ball the whole time. Here's the clip in full speed. And what he should have realized, and sadly enough, in bronze, if you want to rank up, you might have to not trust your teammates. Get your mechanical skills up, but you need to expect the worst case scenario from your teammates and be there when they make mistakes and you'll start to rank up. Silver. Not too different from bronze. There's a slight increase of mechanical ability, a slight increase of game sense, but there isn't too much of an increase of anticipation. There's a lot more reaction and not a whole lot of anticipation type movement. So let's check out this clip. We're gonna start, we're gonna see this guy moving upfield, we're gonna see the ball go, and boom. All right, take your time. Based off this car's movements, I have a guess of where the ball would be, but do you guys think it would be here, 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 or here? The right answer is D. The ball was still near the goal, and I would not have guessed this. This car was moving towards his side. It looked like he was shadow defending a little bit, like the ball was cleared. He was playing defensively, waiting for a hit. But good anticipation would have showed that there wasn't really any danger of the ball getting cleared past you in defense. So go ahead, move on up, get yourself in position for some sort of block and another shot attempt. But being that far away, you've got no chance to make any shot. You can't win without any goals. There's some sort of saying out there about that. Gold. Ah, 
what a place to be. A place where mechanics are a lot better. Trust is not better, so there's a lot of double commits. Where aerials are still a bit scary, but we're starting to see some actual Rocket League coordination, and it's it's awesome. All right, so here's the goal clip we're going to analyze, and we're just going to roll it and pause it. Now, select A or B. All right, roll it now. Pause again. Now select A or B again. Great, so our Golden Gamer made every decision correctly. He moved down the field and got closer to the play. He anticipated the play perfectly. He watched his teammates, he watched the ball, he watched the enemies. He made every decision perfectly. And I want to highlight this small little move right here where during the 50-50 he takes his car just to the outside for a second to see if the ball goes that way. If it did, he's already ahead of the play. If not, no big deal. He can turn his car around, no problem. And way to go. You'll be out of gold in no time, sir. Good old Platinum. Such a nice place. People are starting to get a lot better. People are starting to get a lot angrier at their teammates. And people are starting to care a little more. I like you people. You people have a lot of potential. Let's look at your potential right now. Here's our wacky inflatable platinum player. And we're going to do another one of those tests where we block the screen. And here we go. So, screen's blocked. The car's moving. He's inching forward and forward and forward. And where's the ball? Here. Here. Here, or here. This is the classic tunnel vision on the ball and forget about the rest of the field because I got this play. But if we look at here, we see that his teammate who was on the wall was going to hit it out towards him potentially, which he kind of read. But even if he did at the speed his teammate was moving, it would have been a big boomer probably across towards the middle. And if he missed, which he did, the guy behind him on the ground had the next best hit, and that's what he did. And he got beat, and he crept too far forward. This results in a possession change and potentially a goal. Welcome to hell. <clears throat> I mean, Diamond. Welcome to the best zone in Rocket League, Diamond. It's not great for a lot of people and that's because there's a lot of different gameplay a lot of different game styles there's a big difference in mechanics you're starting to be more aware of your teammates and what they're doing and most of all you just want to get better and so you start to scrutinize yourself a lot more but all of this can be made better with better anticipation all right so here's our diamond clip we're gonna roll it until i say pause a quick glance at the screen where should our boy go right or back I'm giving you a longer look than you would get in a game and we can see that we have a guy in goal who's ready to get the ball next we can see that the orange team the guy is flipping and won't be able to get enough control quick enough we have the opportunity to move up field because our goalie might come out and hit this up towards us and set us up for the next shot things move a lot quicker in this game so make sure to pay attention to every small input you can get so you can anticipate the next shot a play like this is perfectly executed and if you guys keep this up you are basically grand champ stuck in diamonds so you'll be out of here in no time champion we're almost there this is where people are now mechanically really good their game sense is also really good but there's one thing that seems to be lacking and that's consistency and with that people start to sacrifice their quick game decision making ability and fill it in with getting a lot of boost and making those crazy hits and posting it to reddit but one thing that champion players can work on and this will improve their speed as well is anticipation and this is the rank where this stuff really starts to matter trust me all right, here's our champion level gameplay. He's going to go for the shot. He's going to follow it up. He's going to round. Oh, steal their boost. Good play. He's going to keep moving. Wow, he's actually pretty fast. All right, he's going to... Oh, no. All right, what happened? This guy was moving around fast. He was going to make the play. His teammate cut him off. Like, what's going on here? Why is there a double commit at this rank? Let's look at this and look at the teammate's angle as well. So here's the big problem we start to see at this rank. People are really fast, people are really good mechanically, but people make their decisions without taking in the full context. He checks up field, but he's actually only looking for boost. He looks back at the ball, and pretty much the entire play, his eyes are on the ball, and he makes a crucial mistake of not checking his surroundings and seeing where his teammate is. If we look at the teammate's perspective, 
It looks like he's rounding off and he's about to go rotate back behind this guy. And our guy in the middle feels like he has enough time to go challenge this, which is the correct play. Now our guy on the side here doesn't see this guy behind him and decides to take this play into his own hands and ends up creating a double commit, which is completely 100% his fault. Now, looking back, if he were to just put off ball cam, look back, he would have been able to rotate behind his teammate and be in position for the next hit. Well, here's the solution. You don't have to worry about the ball anymore. You know where the ball is. You're mechanically good enough to make a play if you need to. So start using your eyes correctly. Look at the enemy. Look at your teammates. Look at your position. Look at your boost. Start using your eyes at anything but the ball and you'll start to rank up. Grand champion. All right. So what we're going to do if what we're going to do for this what we're going to do for this clip we're just going to end it here.